We're back and we're going to play as the tainted version of the lost. Um, I know that we've been doing it over and over, uh, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. No, I'm not. Look, people are like the limoncello LaCroix is alcoholic is absolutely not. It's, it's literally, it has like three ingredients. It's got water, uh, bubbles, and then crushed up poppy seed muffin. That's it. That's it, man. It tastes like bad White Claw. I don't know, man. I've never had a White Claw. White Claw only made its way to Canada in the middle of the COVID pandemic. Okay. So I haven't had the opportunity to go to too many cookouts or barbecues over the course of the past year. I've been a little busy doing my part. How have you had so many White Claws? You're not an intellectual. Get back here. I would definitely give it a try. Um, but that I honestly, one of the reasons that I've never had... Um, I've, I've never had hard seltzer, is that I actually think, like, having hard seltzer, I, I think I would like it too much and it could become a problem. Like, I'm already in the habit, when I get sparkling water, I drink minimum, like, four cans a day. I think it would be so easy to accidentally just be like, whoops, I'm an alcoholic now. Like, I bought White Claw twice, and now I'm, you know... It's just water, dude. It's just it's just fun water. Sparkling water is legit, man. No, no question. Four a day... People will literally be like... If you're ever like, you shouldn't eat a pepperoni pizza every day. People are like, oh, what's it like to never have fun? You drink four cans of water a day, people are like, aren't you worried about the effect that carbonic acid could have on your tooth enamel? Come on. Are you crazy? I just walked over here. Pepperoni pizza does taste better than sparkling water, though. I'll give you that one. Straw man that I made up in my head. <laughs> How do you open four cans a day? That's what I was working out for. I got really strong. Now, I I, I got to be honest with you. I, I could probably open at least 12 cans a day if I had to. Like, physically speaking. Absolutely. I'm pretty strong, man. I actually think, like... Um... I don't think I'm strong, but I think I look strong compared to the average person, which is a really good position to be in when you don't own a truck. Because no one, like, they might be like, hey, help me move. You look strong. And then you're like, oh, I only have like a mid-sized sedan. And they're like, oh, sorry, forget I asked, forget I asked. I think it's a good situation. What about when somebody assumes you can open a jar? I like that, honestly. I, I, I love to open a jar. You know what's annoying, though, is like when someone's trying to open a jar, then you like because they can't do it. Then they give you the jar, and you go at it for like two seconds, and you, you didn't get it on like the first couple of attempts, and they go, oh, just give it here. And I'm like, no, as soon as you pass, you don't get to take the jar. The jar is only giveable. You don't get to not be able to open the jar, and then go, hey, can you help me, and then take it back after I've loosened it and open it yourself. That's not fair. <laughs> You're stealing my jar, Vela! Jerry! Jerry, I loosened the jar! I'm dead. They stole your jar, Valor. It's a better item anyway. That was a bit of a throw. 
I'll give you that one. At least the, the bit was worth it. This is, it's the perfect, um, character, like, this is the ultimate gaming test for me. A character that requires 45 minutes of extended focus versus uh, me who refuses under any circumstance to talk about the game at all. And instead just say things in George Costanza's voice over and over from <laughs> Seinfeld. Do you leave the plastic wrap on the capped cylindrical yoga cups? Yo yogurt cups, okay. Also, Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? Do you leave the plastic on the capped cylindrical yogurt cups? Do you leave the plastic on... Jerry, they left the plastic on the capped cylind... I don't eat yogurt, actually. Um, so I don't... I don't know. I got nothing against it. Like, yogurt as an ingredient in things. Like, oh man. Tzatziki? All, all, maybe goaded condiment. Or sauce. I don't know what you what the difference is. And frankly, I'm, I just don't care. But... What lane of the, of the freeway do you drive on? Um, it depends. Like, I, I honestly think of... Drivers in British Columbia are are insane. Like when I'm on on Highway One or Highway Ninety Nine, which are like two of the big highways around Vancouver, I'm usually they, there's three or four lanes. I'm usually middle because the right is just like one person can screw up the right lane for for a hundred kilometers. Um, but the the far left lane is the the lane of chaos and folly. You could be doing 140 kilometers an hour. Somebody that just got their license like 10 minutes ago will will be like 140. Okay, Grandpa. Like, I and I just I, I can't deal with that. I, I, so I'm usually I'm a middle lane, and I try to adjust as little as possible. But those of you who uh, are freaking out of your minds, you'll be happy to know that if somebody behind me starts driving uh, very aggressively and tailgating me, then I just move to the right. I, I let them buy um, because life is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just driving. Like, it's not an extension of my phallus or whatever. I'm just, you know, if, if they want to drive so fast that they're willing to, like, get in a lethal car accident to arrive at their destination two minutes faster, by all means, here you go. You win the race that we're not even a part of right now. But please, let me know. Let me know how the weather is when you get to the Costco uh, 45 seconds before me. Um, and play, life is a highway, that's true. And I'm gonna ride it all night long. You can ride it! You can ride it all night long! Gulp. Gulp. Now we're talking. Dude, maybe this could be the item for us, dude. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. I did see, don't you give me, I can't even talk about the people filling up the plastic bags with the uh, gasoline, man. Because there was a, the, the US, like, I don't know, Environmental Protection Agency or whatever had to make a tweet that was like, please don't fill up plastic shopping bags with gasoline. And then, you know, there were people in the comments like, duh. But then there were other people in the comments that were like, Maybe the woman who was hoarding gasoline can't afford a real container. So it's good to educate, but you shouldn't be making fun of her. And I was just like... Come on, man. She's filling up a Target bag with, with like, four liters of gasoline. She's driving a Lincoln Navigator. I think she should be mocked. A little. Not as a person, but for the action she's taking. I think it's a situation where where a little mocking might be in order, quite frankly. Uh, what was the item on the right there? I, I, I know the item on the left and I don't care for it. What was the item on the right? Evil Eye. What, that's a tough call. What do you think about Evil Eye? 
Worth the planetarium chance? Skippable worth the planetarium chance. Dude, let's send it. It'll, it'll be fun. I know they buffed it. You know is bad when they buff an item and people are like, still skip it. Most of the time, even if an item is buffed to be garbage, they're like, it's better than it used to be. It's a must take. It's a must take. This one's for you, Macros. It's a must take. It's a must take. Name that for a dollar. Name that song. That's right, it's called It's a Mistake by Men at Work. That song is a mistake? Uh, actually, I believe it's track four on uh, The Best of Men at Work. Contraband, The Best of Men at Work. Track one is Who Can It Be Now? Track two is uh, Down Under. Track three, Be Good Johnny. One of the, the all-time greatest first three tracks on any best of album in history track four it's a mistake it's still like it's a good song don't get me wrong but it's not on the level of the first three but then you get it's like track eight or nine or 15 they get to overkill oh i can't get to sleep one of the definitely one of the best songs of the 1980s I hate bagging my gas, it ruins the taste. I prefer canned. It's a good joke. I, I can support that. I still, I don't like this item, but I think it's a take here. I think it's gotta be done. Gonna play football this year, Johnny? Hey, can I get, can I get 20 bucks on uh, on pump number six? Sure. Uh, do you need a bag? No, don't worry. I brought my own. Got them bumch. <laughs> you heard about all this gas stuff? People are using plastic shopping bags to bag up their gas. It's ridiculous. The world's gone crazy. I use reusable canvas because I respect the environment. <laughs> you hear about this, Kevin? Plastic bags on gas. Plastic. Plastic. People are pla using plastic bags to bag up their gas with plastic. Plus two. Let's go. Let's go. I had to work. I fought for that one. I fought for that one. I would like two bombs, please. Pretty nice bit. Pretty nice bit. <laughs> NL, do you like Frasier? Let's put it this way. I like Frasier more than Roz likes ordering lattes but calling them lates. Does that answer your question? Knife piece. Oh, thank you. Yeah, almost ruined, almost ruined the run. Almost ruined the run right there. Yep. Appreciate it, chat. Appreciate it. Couldn't have done it without you. I do. I, I appreciate Frasier, man. I still. I know I've talked about it before. I think it's hilarious that Frazier's on CMT in Canada. I can only imagine... Well, like, there's two different ways that could go, right? Like, one of the, the ways it could go is... Um, I'm going to give it a try. That people who watch country music television also respect a highbrow comedy such as Frazier. Um... The other thing is that I, I like the idea that maybe they're watching it uh, to laugh at their at, at Frasier's urban sensibilities. I imagine that like when I watch Frasier and you know they make like a, a ridiculous joke that I don't even understand, but I know that it's supposed to be funny. I politely chuckle because so I feel like uh, when other people watch Frasier. Frazier is like, I'll take a mocha frappuccino. And then they're like, that'll be a hundred dollars, please. And people watching are like, what? A <laughs> hundred dollars? That dang old city coffee. That's how they get you, man. That's a hundred dollars for a cup of coffee. That's crazy. Niles. Hold on. That's Maris. She told me I accidentally bought 
bocconcini instead of macaroni. This is a Category 5 emergency. HP up, saved, saved, saved. I'm not saved, I'm not saved. I see the game is at normal speed today. We fixed it. Dude, that could totally work. Niles, did you fix the cobblestone generator? I sure did, Frazier. I just can't help but wonder why the rocks are so dark and they take so long to break. As angry fly and eyeball tears or something like that seems also bad. Skippable. Skippable. Trashed here. It, well, it can't be trash because Tainted Lost only gets good items. They really should have done like a Frasier Seinfeld. I'm bad. Um, crossover episode. I would love to see George Costanza interact with Frasier Crane, man. Well, should have thought that one through. We skip, we skip. Terrible idea. On the other hand, wrong. Owns. I hate these enemies, dude. It's like trying to waltz. Why, why are you trying to waltz, bro? I'm crumping here. God, that's scary. Why are we skipping item rooms? We know what is contained betwixt the item room. We skip it because we don't like what they got for sale. And as a result of the skip, we have an increased chance of getting a planetarium and maybe getting... Even if we don't get an item from the planetarium, that's incredible. Um, you know, at least we have a chance to get an item that's worth more than zero, which is essentially how I think about the items that we've skipped so far, is that we wouldn't even notice that they existed. I don't like where I'm standing. No glancing. This is a no glance run. Mm. Yeah, Dreamcatcher, like... I need to be reminded always not to accidentally just go down or, or not to accidentally skip the the flavor text, but this this boss has has a little glance ability. I'm stoked. In the loading screen between the waves. You get slight glance ability. Final wave. This is just patience, baby. Patience, baby. Frick. Thursday patience, baby. It's a tears upgrade. I don't mind. It's no big deal. Two-thirds chance of getting a deal. Didn't get it. No big deal. It's not a big deal or whatever. Now, we desperately need a holy card. This would be a great time for the shop to be worth something. Your tear capped? Alright, I guess I'll just leave it behind next time. I thought I could squeeze between them. N next time, remind me, I'll use my D6. Oh, wait, I don't have one! Bro, come on. Saved. Saved? It's a good return on our investment, but still. This is where my... I'll, I'll just use my D6, Drake. I'll just use my D6. I, I don't know enough about the memes to make it work, but... I don't know enough about the show to make the memes, I should say. I make it the memes. Okay. Eternal Heart, that's pretty pog. Tarot Cloth, that's pretty pog. 
tower card. That's pretty not pog. That's pretty anti pog. <laughs> Dude, we're we're due for a planetarium. That's why I'm I'm freaking still going strong here. Yee! That's the sound Mini Me makes in Austin Powers, dude. I told you we were due. Look at that. Planetarium, baby. Ooh, it wasn't a planetarium anyway. It was just making a joke, but... I hope you're enjoying this period of many losses, because uh, once we beat stuff as tainted loss, like, it's over. That's the beginning of, like, our bull run. We will never lose again. Oh, no, that's really bad. <laughs> you should not be getting hit by those guys. If only we had eyeball tears, that probably wouldn't have happened. Hold R? Nah, man, because, like, in this item room, I'm telling you, Mom's knife, Mommy knife coming right up. Tough times never last. Only tough people last. Okay, clip farming failed. Blah. Um, you know what? There could be a holy card inside of Edward's domicile. We may want to give that a try. Clips disabled. Immediately disable clips, please. Hmm. Plus five if you never say mommy knife again. Oh, oops. Molly, molly, molly. What the heck is even that? Joke air. Okay, what the heck does Soul of the Lost do, man? It's useless. <laughs> Nobody knows. Nothing. You become the lost for a room? Is this a sick joke? I hate to say it. We have to... S we have to say no. Like, I, as, as good as that is to get, like, Pentagram for free. Like, we can't get anything. We, we have to... The only thing we could do if we had that was do, um... The alt path. I don't want to force myself to do the alt path. I have to also give myself the chance to do Mega Satan. The only way we could also get Mega Satan out of that is to either get Dad's key or to be able to play the Eddie room until um, until we got the key payouts. But we can't play the Eddie room unless we got like 12 Soul of the Lost. Otherwise, without Holy Mantle, just walking into the spikes will freaking kill us, man. So this is a roundabout way of clip farming. Like, imagine if we just get Dad's key on the next floor. Blank cards in there? Red stew. No, no blank card, but, you know, eventually. I, I see what you're saying. Blank card, soul of the lost. And I'll be all right. Okay, I mean, it's a, it's a space bar item of some reputability. All right, well, you know, easy come, easy go. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me. John. John Madden. See, Dan, why would you ever do um, a six hour long run? When instead, you could just do six hours of uh, dying as the same character over and over. Exactly. Suffering's a part of life. W without the sour, the sweet isn't as sweet. For a dollar, name that movie. Six hour run. Permanent. Animal House, wrong, you owe me a dollar. Robocop, wrong, you owe me a dollar. I did, okay, everyone give your dollars to the person who said Vanilla Sky first. That was indeed uttered by Jason Lee's character in, in Vanilla Sky.
take it out of my Twitch sub? Uh, excuse me, that's not the way that works. At Subway, when they ask you any chips, cook, uh, cookies, or drinks, that just felt wrong. Any chips, drinks, or cookies? You can't just say, hey, you know, give me a Pepsi. And when they're like, oh, that'll be another $1.75, you go, oh, I'll just take it out of my sandwich. Doesn't make any sense. When they ask that, I say no. I like, I like the combo, man. I mean, if you're gonna eat a foot long piece of bread with cold cuts, you might as well wash it down with 300 calories of Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips. I don't understand the people who get the cookies. Like, they, that's just like, I, I know that we're, we're going down the subway road for like the 20th time. And, and people are probably getting frustrated, visibly frustrated with this bit. But, like, one bag of potato chips is worth way more than two cookies. It's not even freaking close, man. The cookies taste pretty... Everybody loves the white chocolate um, macadamia nut cookies. Don't get me wrong. But, like... A bag of Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips is worth way more. Way more. But that's just because salt's better than sugar. As we will prove in this video essay. What the heck is happening, dude? What is happening? How do you program these enemies, dude? It's crazy. Eight bags of sun chips aren't wor worth a single cookie? Honestly, we need to go into business together. Anytime I get cookies, I will pass them to you. Anytime you get sun chips, you'll pass them to me. Because I, I, there's there's some arbitrage to be gained there. Dude, so you know, the, so I tweeted about how like I thought black pepper is the most overrated um, seasoning. A couple of things I want to say in my own defense. First... When I say overrated, I mean bad. Just the fact that people are like, ooh, black pepper. Oh, I love it. Mmm, so true, right? That, that, that room sucked a little bit. Um, I still like black pepper. I still use it just about every time I cook. Also, people said, you, gotta, you haven't had real black pepper until you tried uh, fresh cracked from a pepper mill. Bro, I got a pepper mill. I'm 32 years old. It looks like a freaking, uh, you know, CB2 showroom out there. Obviously, we have a, a pepper grinder. What I will say, though, I uh, I didn't just take heat on Twitter. Even in my, my group chat with my friends from high school and university, uh, I got roasted there. Like, I, I just one day after a stream, I came in to be like, you know... Hey, like, uh, hope everybody's doing well. And they had left, like, 70 comments being like, what's wrong with this guy? Like, has he actually lost his mind? I got, I got torn up by the people closest to me. It hurts, you know? It, I, that's all I can say is it hurts. Only good items, baby. Only good items. Yeah, yeah, glowing hourglass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, we're gonna win. We got glowing hourglass. It's over, dude. Uh, we're gonna lose. Because this boss cannot be beaten. It's the hardest boss that's ever existed. Do you have a food processor? You're gonna laugh. We, we don't really have, like, an adult food processor. But our baby food device has like a little baby food processor in it before we i i didn't know and this is kind of putting kate on blast i'm gonna admit but it's a funny story um we want to get deal with angel so don't go in yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. we're loving it um i leave i leave i leave anyway before, I didn't know that there was a food processor in, in the baby food steamer. Kate would make the baby food like, you know, she'd cook it. Um, 
And then w after it was cooked, she would pass me like, you know, little pieces of like cooked beef or bok choy or whatever, and then put it in a mortar and pestle, and then grind it by hand into little tiny chunks. And you know, you know, like in, in Dumb and Dumber, oh my God, dude. <laughs> you know, in Dumb and Dumber where Jeff Daniels goes like, you know, my hands are so cold, I'm not sure if I can like do this anymore and then Jim Carrey's like I'll just give you another I'll give you my backup pair of gloves that he hasn't uh he didn't let him it's, it's really funny anyway long story short af after like weeks of doing the the mortar and pestling um she was like oh we do have uh like the there's a little food processor attached to the baby food steamer and like I had to convince her that it would be easier than us doing the mortar and pestle like Grinding, trying to get it down into a fine paste. Probably should have pressed Q, I guess. Um, literally, like, she put it in the processor and was like, Zzz! and then it was done. I, I was sitting there getting, like, you know, I was getting forearms like you'd see on a, on a 75 year old baker trying to turn this beef into, like, beef dust. The food processor did it in, like, a second and a half. So now, now that's what we use. Amazing. Great item. You only get good items as a lost is the thing, so. Like this item that literally can't be used. I'm on dude, you know what? I'm not gonna hold R and we're gonna be rewarded for it. That's that's my philosophy right here. I'm a genius. We've already been rewarded. You just don't know it yet. You buy Diplopia. Hold on. You buy Diplopia. When you get two more cents. You take it down to the next floor. When you earn a deal with the devil. You take both items via Diplopia. Or hopefully it's two items at least. Um, take the items for free. And then don't actually... Lose your deal with the angel chance. You lose the guarantee, but you don't lose the chance because you didn't pay for the items. Malicious compliance. Mmm, D-A-E-R slash malicious compliance. Anybody in chat work as Subway? What is the most annoying sandwich to make? Meatball? That makes perfect sense. It's got to be hard to close, right? What do you do at Subway if the customer doesn't take responsibility for the integrity of their own sandwich? You know what I mean? Like, if somebody orders a meatball sandwich, like double meat, and then every vegetable and topping you could ask for, so that it's literally, like, mathematically non-closable, what do you do? I guess you just like close it up and then hope for the best. You wrap it up like a mission style burrito with aluminum foil and then you gotta eat it by tearing the foil off a little bit. I once went to Subway, asked for everything on my sandwich and then uh, the lady said no. Honestly, uh, extremely uh, Lucille Bluth at the end of Midsummer Voice, good for her. Good for her. I will say it's kind of like I, I, I when whenever you go to Subway, I, I guess they have like a corporate script, right? So when they take it out of the toaster and slide it over to the dressing station, they go everything on it, and it always it kind of I, I want to not with the the worker, but I want to talk to corporate and be like, "Are you insane? You think I want lettuce, spinach?" Tomatoes, red onions, like five different kinds of hot peppers, green and black olives on my... There's like... You're... There's like a... There's a choice. You should get lettuce or spinach. They fulfill the same objective. You can get hot peppers or you can get jalapenos. I like a spicy sandwich. You just don't need both, though. That's like... It's overkill. You gotta... You gotta pick and choose. I guess you don't have to. You could literally get everything, but...
I get peppers and jalapenos. It's not about like the, like, oh, it would be too spicy for me. It's just genuinely like, I'm pretty sure your sandwich just tastes like, it's like a loaf of vinegar. It's imbalanced, man. And I, I come to Subway for the delicate melange of flavors you can get. Plus, like, hot peppers on a sandwich, way better than uh, jalapenos. I would rather get double the hot peppers and, and less jalapenos. There are contexts where that would change, but in the sandwich context, the, the jalapeno for me doesn't work as, uh, it doesn't work as well. Uh, okay, so this is the second floor. We may take this with us down to the next floor to get an item instead. I'm confused here too, because now we left our item room behind because we don't want to take number one. Did you see that? Like, like he just ran me down. <laughs> I don't know what. What could I do, Ed? What could I do? I think we're going to take the question mark from the item room. We got to buy. Oh, dude, this dang donation machine's getting. Oh, we got to get the hourglass, too. No, oh, no, no, okay, not, that would've, I would never have recovered. We gotta buy out this shop. I mean, we could diplopia of the shop, I guess, and then ignore the devil deal, but with golden bombs, I think we gotta, I think we gotta send it. What are you using Diplo for? Does this answer your question? It's actually the best kind of devil deal you ever could have asked for. Oh my god. The fact that it also included duality is is just incredible. Ace of clubs, the emperor. These are great cards, man. Um, it takes stars. You could have taken another one. I don't want to take another one because I gotta get the freaking. Oh, but now with duality, you're right. I could have taken another one. I still could, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, we can get an angel deal on this floor. If we don't take another one. Yeah, yeah, we can get an angel deal on this floor if we don't take another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you can't. I have duality, man. Oh, we, no, I, I can. I can't. I, I think I can. And that's the, it's the power of positive thinking. It's because I didn't pay for the items. We still have precedent. Or we don't have precedent. Yeah, Cobalt, we need your help. Cobalt. Hold on, I need glowing hourglass. It's a situation that doesn't come up that much. We're, we're doing Isaac myth busting right now. Emperor car, Emperor car is really good, man. We, yeah, we're gonna just take that. And we're gonna say the sun card. No, thank you. This feels like Dan's run. Please don't insult my sensibilities. I have a sense of alacrity. I guess like if we if we get a devil deal, we can take it, right? Like I, I very rarely take duality. If we get it, let's just think about this. You get a devil. You can still get angel deals with duality. Okay, so we can take anything. What we would be taking here, in my personal opinion, out of all these items, would be pentagram. I feel like pentagram is better than pact. No, correct. Correct. All? That's not, that's not how it works, dude. Duality is broken in repentance. Oh no. Pentagram, because you're gonna hit the tears cap. I'm telling you, man, I think I think Pentagram's better in this context. Plus, uh, it turned us into Leviathan. What if I just glowing hourglass right now? And then was like, no, I couldn't possibly. I gotta take the other one. In optional chapters, duality seems to only open one door. Okay. It's good to know. In that case, we could just go hard on the alt path. Uh, and, you know, we, we've still got a line open to us. Oh, I forgot Pandora's... 
No, but that's what we weren't going to use Pandora's box anyway, because we have the glowing hourglass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pandora's box would have only given us spirit hearts on the last floor. Or maybe like bombs and keys, I can't remember. Um, okay, please dump this. Uh, it's bad. I never want to see it ever again. Okay, we got something here. Now, now we got to simplify. We got to just get down to brass tacks. Eight ball gives higher planetarium chance? Of course. Anytime I was in grade school, I'd be like, are we going to the planetarium today? Shake, shake, shake. Ask again tomorrow, man. Ooh. You ever go to a planetarium? They, I, they brought one to my elementary school. And I know how that's going to sound, because like a planetarium is supposed to be like a pretty big building. Um... I, they brought like a weird like blow up tent why not to my uh, to my elementary school and then like projected stuff on the ceiling at the time I thought I was in like a vast and cavernous uh, like Ridley Scott style construction only now looking back do I realize it was probably like 30 square feet a little spicy. You ever go to a planetarium? You notice the popularity of theme restaurants these days. I had those two once a month? Bro, that's pretty sick. I definitely... We had it once ever. Once a month is like, geez louise. I mean, is the universe really changing that much that they have to bring you the planetarium on a monthly basis? It's like more often than I look at my mortgage statement. Okay, this is pretty good. It was one once a month for me too? Are you, what? That's crazy, man. Uh, in today's monthly uh, synopsis, Pluto is no longer a planet anymore. See you, see you on the 15th next month. And we're waiting on Uranus like the 1st and the 15th stars in the air. You can see we are in sync. Thank you, thank you. I think we can afford to fight the boss. I think we can give it a try. This this one has a chance. I'm so lost in the slash marker sauce, though. I, I don't know, like... How, how long has this slash marker been going for? Ah, uh, only like half an hour. That's perfect. Best part of that song? Uh, Tired B Don't Kill My Vibe Best song on Good Kid Mad City Wired Money Trees Best song on Good Kid Mad City I appreciate it Thank you Yes, yes, take me out. All that for a comically large spoon? When all you need is a knife. It's like hearing about the man of your dreams and then meeting his beautiful wife. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it coincidental, don't you think? Thoughts on shoestring french fries. Um, in general, the higher the surface area to volume ratio on a french fry, the better, because it get, it, it's got more crispy quotient. I don't, I don't mind a, a crispy french fry. Similarly, you give me the choice, choice between a hash brown and a home fry, I'm going all about, uh, the, the hash brown, man, 100%.
Latkes, hash browns. I'll take them. Dun, dun, dun. I'm stoked, by the way. Like, okay, so I'm mostly stoked because I got my, like, vaccine appointment. That's really exciting for me. Um, even though I don't really want to, like, do anything. Like, I, I don't want to go see the movies or, like, the new Angelina Jolie movie or whatever. Um, salt. Uh, but it, that's still nice, right? Like, that's really, that's, that's cool and I can stop complaining. Which means I just have to find something new to complain about. Yo, Luker155, thank you. The gifted subscription, thank you. Subscriptions, I should say. Um, I don't know. We might save here, buy buy shops and get more shops in the future. Um, the second reason I'm excited though is is only Wednesday, and I've already cooked all three of the Hello Fresh that we received on. Oh, sorry, it's Thursday. My bad. <laughs> but I've already. Um, Cooked all three of the Hello Fresh that we received Monday night. I knocked out my dinner responsibilities. Toot sweet, which means Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm not on dinner duty, man. <laughs> One more Aaron knocked off the list. Don't shoot me, please. It's a good feeling, man, to have all your all your dinner duties knocked off the list. On Monday, made the uh, Spanish-style barramundi. Tuesday, cheddar-crusted chicken breast with a sweet potato mash. Oh my god. <laughs> Slash marker, he do be dying, though. I 